I'm working on my master's thesis, which is uh, studying Cold War era main battle tanks, specifically the uh, MBT-70 program. I wanted to find a topic that nobody else had done a lot of research on, um, that I could kind of enter into the space with my own ideas. And my project kind of involves defense acquisition, defense research, um, and international relations because the project was like a joint United States, um, West Germany project. I've also been really interested in military history all of my life. Um, and I really like tanks, which helps. A lot of the ideas that the, these men were trying to create were untested in combat. The program was actually unsuccessful. Um, neither the United States or Germany could agree on the kind of end vehicle that they wanted. So the program actually uh, broke up. Most of my trips have been to the National Archives um, in College Park, Maryland, but a lot of the things that I'm looking at are still classified. So it's both an interesting challenge to try and reconstruct what happened from what little remains, and it's an interesting thought experiment to try and think about what is in those documents that somebody ideally still thinks is important. Plus it also makes you feel like James Bond when you look at all these documents and say, say secret or confidential up top. Dr. Ronald Frankham is my um, advisor for my thesis. Uh, this is all in pursuant of my master's thesis. Um, but I've been also getting help from a lot of the other members of the history faculty and my fellow graduate students. I selected this topic because nobody really knew a lot about it. So um, that's been my own discovery. But they've really helped in putting everything into a structure, into the best way to write a paper, into helping me fix my own writing. Um, and kind of the methodology of writing a paper like this. I think I would like to do a short lecture um, involving more the, the trials and tribulations of research as opposed to the actual content of my paper because I think that it would be very beneficial for um, especially undergraduates looking to pursue a graduate career in history to, to think about doing archival research and the, the real fun of doing it but also the challenges of doing it.